Wait, no, no, why? Why is there a point in the middle of the ocean after it just told me about a plane crash? What are you leading me to, little dude? Guys, I don't like this. Hello, everybody failed successfully here, and today we are going to play Map Friend. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is a Google Maps horror game. I have no idea why. I don't know if this is going to be like just one of those, you know, creepy pasta type of things. I don't, I don't know, but this is definitely, this is weird. I had to try it. I had to try it. It was super, super weird. Okay, so we're in Illinois, apparently, for some reason. We got three points to choose from. Okay. Guess I click on you. Let's go. Ooh. All right. Did you know? Click on a location to go there. Exploring is fun with Map Friend. Thanks. I guess. Oh my God. Just like that stupid paperclip. All right. <laughs> to go back to the map, click on me. Yay! I hate you, little dude. You already weird me out. You're gonna be creepy, aren't you? You're gonna do something. I know you're gonna do something. All right. Twelve Westwater View. Oh my god, Mad Friend automatically got this facts about locations. I, dude, I don't care, okay? I really don't care. You need explorers to fly to new locations. This helps cost down. Okay. Oh, this helps keep cost down. Alright. Uh, Westwater View is a park spot that provides camping amenities to visitors of Lake Westwater. Camping amenities are limited, but the day fee is very cheap, and it's just $3 per day. It's actually not too bad. Alright. Um... I mean, other than all the trees look the same, and I don't know how Illinois looks, but um, something tells me it doesn't look this pixelated in this samey. But you know what? I've never been there. I don't know. Is there anybody from Illinois who can tell me? Does it look like this? Is it, you know, when you go outside, does it look like this just as pixelated? <laughs> I bet it does. I bet it does. All right. Okay. Um... I guess that's it. I don't see anything weird. I hope I don't have to like wander around aimlessly or something. I wouldn't think so. I guess I don't know. Okay. Well, nothing so far. Oh god, the way the earth moves is a little weird, but okay. You know, Matt Friend finds the best, most up to date info about your favorite locations. Broski. I don't care, please. Give me a little bit of time to read. Josh Nature Review. Okay. Willow Forest. Puts this relatively unknown forest on number five. Willow Forest is actually really beautiful in the spring. It's not super big, but it's worth the excursion. Especially the views on Westwater Lake are great from here. I go with my family every now and then to be sure to let me know if you're going. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, shut up. Oh, what is that? What is that? I explore or pick it up before it gets away. Okay. Great exploring, collect more orbs, travel new locations. Okay. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see anything. Is there anything like actually to look at? Like, I mean like go places? What is that? Wait, what is that? There's a red thing down there. What am I, what am I looking at? Oh, is this just an, oh my God, it's just another location. They were that close together. Okay. Um. Went to. Oh god, which one did we go to? Did we go to that one? I already forgot. Memory of a goldfish, I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Yep. Alright, we're by the water. Willow Beach Road. Willow Beach is located on the shores of Lake Westwater, the closest town to Westwater Township. As of 2004 census, its population was 567 and contained 280 housing units. The town is most known for the infamous Petersburg airstrip for the... Hello? No. No, no, no. Wait. Where the what? Excuse me. Where the what happened? Was there a plane crash here? Am I being haunted by a plane crash? Or is this like a... I, there's something weird going on here, guys. He's leading me somewhere, and I don't like the fact that it is a creepy plane crash. I... <laughs> I don't like that at all. Great job! You found an explorer orb. Yeah. 
But great. I'm excited. Why are you taking me to a plane crash? Why? Why? Okay. Um. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I'm not really seeing anything, like, out of the ordinary. I mean, I got the orbs from both of those locations. Did I miss an orb here? Oh. Oh. Wait. No. No. Why? Why is there a point in the middle of the ocean after it just told me about a plane crash? What are you leading me to, little dude? Guys, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What's, uh, what are we doing out in the middle of the ocean? But why? Oh, I don't want to click on it. Uh, the water's too far. Wait, no, 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 no. The water's too far, what? Hold up. The water's too far away for the emergency landing. Oh no. Oh god, that's awful. No one found this location. Maybe something is wrong. I think you're looking for somewhere else. Oh no. It's telling me about a plane crash. Oh no. Why? But why? New place? New location. Um, I don't, I don't know. Am I supposed to actually type some? Oh, no, okay, it's doing it for me. All right. Oh, much explorer, wow! Oh, where are we flying to now? I, bro, I don't know, man. I have no idea where I'm at. What is, what is this? What is this? I, okay, we'll start here. I... This is really weird. I actually don't like this. I don't like that there's some sort of spooky, like, realism to it, you know? Like, this is something that can actually happen. Like, don't get me wrong, you get, like, you know, stalked in a park and stuff like that, but there, there's something just unnervingly creepy about this, down to the core. Maybe that's why it's like a creepy pasta game thing. I... Because I'm pretty sure I thought I heard something about a creepy post about Google Maps. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm making it up in my head. I don't know. Do you know? You seem to be in an era not a lot of data. Are you sure you're looking right? Um, I don't know. You know probably more than I do. The N6 runs between North Africa bordered by the Mediterranean Sea in the North and West Africa border by the Atlantic Ocean in the South. Large part of it runs through Algeria. The project was proposed in 1963. The construction in the 1970s due to the high, coast, the high cost of the paving the project was eventually abandoned in 1972, reaching halfway along the Algerian desert. Yeah, I would imagine making a road that goes straight through a huge desert would be a little expensive. Um, oh, wow, that was quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Great, I found it. Okay. Yeah, um, I hate this. There's something weird about this. It could also be the very ominous booming that's in my ear, but, uh, you know, here we are. Uh, I don't like that I, like, scroll like this and it tilts the screen and... Did a good job. Did a good job. This is creepy. Where am I? What is this, like, red stuff? Is it, like, a rock formation? It, it looks like blood from the sky, but you know, you know it's not that, right? I hope not. Ugh. No info on this location. Why are you looking here? Wasn't it in a forest? Wasn't wasn't what in a forest? Sorry, Matt, I can help you with this location. I'm just the co-pilot. Uh you're just the co-pilot? Okay. Wasn't it in a forest? Was wasn't what in a forest? This is getting really weird really quickly. Um, okay, and I guess we're gonna look here now, the last orb. 
hopefully not get a creepy jump scare at some point. Cool. I... Wait. No, come back! No, no, no. No, 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 no. According to the Western Aviary reports, crashes are very... very rare. In fact... Their low fatality record. Wait. In fact, their fatality record has been very low compared to most companies. CEO John Slater said in a statement We're very concerned about the recent accident, but we ensure to our customers that we. And then it's actually blank. Um. So is this like one main crash that it's hinting at? I... Or are we seeing multiple crashes? I... Is that what all these pinpoints are? Are they all crashes? Oh, I don't know what's worse. Are we being haunted by a singular crash that it wants us to find? Oh no, why am I looking at... Specific coordinates? Oh... Please, don't do it! Oh no, the crosswinds were steady at 20 knots, now it's 30 knots. Okay? Couldn't have known, Captain. Oh no. Is, am I like a pilot who has like survivor's guilt or something? Did we all die? Is this like my purgatory feeling guilty about all this? Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. They wouldn't have this on here. He's just being creepy. I don't wanna. Oh, I don't wanna. Something bad's gonna happen. I don't wanna do it. This should have been you. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Okay. And it just closed. Alright. Um. Is that it? I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Wow. That was unexpected. I was expecting just like a creepy ghost or, you know, something like that or something that like stalked you through the locations, but. No, that was... There was a story behind that. Like, I wonder if you pause on that screen if there's anything interesting. I'll have to take a look at it at some point. But that was... That was weird. Uh, not what I was expecting at all. So I'm very pleasantly surprised. That was... I mean, obviously about a pilot who, I guess, crashed a plane and is feeling really guilty about it. I guess. But what were the other locations? Were they, like... Are these all like plane crash locations or is it just the one or are there multiple? Cause like there's one out here, right? So what was the one in the forest? I, maybe he's looking up different like plane crash, plane crash locations and felt really bad or I don't know. I mean, I understand having survivor's guilt for something like that. Even if it was out of your control, that would be I don't know if I'd be able to handle that very well either, so... But, uh, that was a trip, man. That was wild. I mean, very well done. Very creepy, the use of sound. I don't know, there's just something, again, real world kind of creepy about it, you know? Like, this is something that you could be looking at Google Maps and weird stuff could start happening. Granted, I hope you're not a pilot with survivor's guilt, but, you know... I, that was really good. I think I liked that a lot. I hope to see more of like different stories and stuff like that. This is this is a really cool idea. I mean, let me know down in the comments what you thought. Feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day.